Okay, everybody, welcome to yet another stream. I hope everything is working. I did mess a bit with um, uh, my audio settings, so I hope obviously everything works. If not, just leave me a short message and I try to correct that. Um, today we will be doing some landscape thumbnails and actually I did quite a bit of them off stream. I had like a little bit of a rough week or to be more specific rough weeks <laughs> was a, a bit much. Uh, Mocky Design, nice to have you on board. I saw your last, last painting in the discord. Truly amazing. Yeah, like a uh, said uh, in, in the last time when I saw your um, um, your movie frame painting you did make huge progress so yeah a panda puff game nice to have you here too so um, I think we uh, will do some new thumbnails today but I want to show you real quick some of the older ones um, Maybe we can e even work uh, on one from there and um, detail it out. Um, depends a bit on how, <laughs> how this is going. I don't know yet, so let's just look at the older ones. Uh, I think this was actually the second one, but here I don't use um, photo reference. Um, they are very rough. They are just like mood sketches and those ones uh, on the left side, obviously I didn't do those. I didn't particularly like the composition so yeah um, those are a bit better um, I worked a bit longer on them and especially like this one here with the um, mountain range I think that turned out pretty cool this could be okay I just had to detail out the um, the spaceships a bit more um, here we have like a, um, a forest scene that could be cool as well. As you can see, I did use a bit of photo bash here, but still most of the stuff is painted. Um, this has also quite nice um, sunset feeling. Um, here, I th this isn't right in perspective. I tried some photo bashing with the um, architecture here, didn't quite succeed. Um, this one I, I like for the really the colors and the, the overall feelings. I like this pretty, pretty good. Yeah. And here we have some ruins. I think that also turned out quite okay. Some issues with perspective, but um, yeah. Those are too good to be just thumbnails. <laughs> Thank you, Morky. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm half happy with them. Um, as you can see, this, this one didn't turn out so great. I think if you can mess a bit with it, it can be pretty cool. I think this one, number five, is, is the best. Um, so maybe we can iterate on that further. Um, the, I, I mean, it, it's not a lot, but I saw like potential in this um, desert thing. So I did another um, like quick mock-up of um, a desert scene and I really wanted to go for some epic structures here in the background. Obviously this also this isn't down and I'm not happy with the creature design but um, yeah. Um, so maybe I can come back to some of those paintings later on but I think now we uh, just uh, get started with um, with the new um, new thumbnails so I think let's just throw a bit of paint on the canvas and see where it takes us and yeah, the pr problem is that it's a bit laggy um, I think I will start pretty loose and will uh, just get some paint in here oh, it's so laggy I don't know why think we can work like that. I mean it's um is this work? Okay. It's pretty high resolution, like four thousand pixels, but even that I mean in Photoshop I I'm pretty sure I would be able to, to handle that. 
I'm Tamahoma. Um, nice to have you here too. We're just starting out new thumbnails. I did like those, just a quick recapture. Um, I did those thumbnails um, off stream and maybe we work on some of those. But um, for now I just want to start some new paintings and see where we can can get there obviously now this will look very messy if you are not familiar with the um, <laughs> with the artistic process um, it's just throwing um, paint on the canvas and see if we it's like looking in the clouds and seeing something in the clouds and sometimes this um, works sometimes it doesn't so yeah if it doesn't don't be sad <laughs> i'm pretty sure we will arrive at something that we can use and if we uh, don't arrive at something here with these ones we can use the old ones that i did off stream but I think for now I will just slap a bit of paint so how are you all doing as I said my week was very rough a lot of uh, stuff it's um, yeah, it's pretty pretty heavy, but what are you gonna do? I hope you are all doing a bit better. Also try to um, use a bit of filters to give me a bit of um, tonal variance here. I don't want to um, have the same colors in every in every thumbnail. an art department uh, in a bit of a rut but this is giving me inspiration yeah um, I think when you're in a rut um, just uh, opening your favorite software or uh, grabbing a piece of paper and um, just bash away with various colors it um, always seems very messy at the start but um, you then arrive at something you didn't even consider so I think this is generally a good uh, technique, at least for me. But I know a lot of people who feel um, the same. Doesn't this work? It should be color dodge. Oh, it does work. Okay.
to have a little bit of space here in the foreground. Yeah. Let's see, better. And we do want to add a bit of atmospheric perspective here. Look for a blending tool. That's a tad grayish now. But I do think we can make add a bit of color here. Bit of blue. Obviously, this, um, yeah. oops. um this doesn't completely work in perspective as I'm just concerned with um, with basic composition at this stage, as you all know. I think we need more um, color variation here. It's a bit too green and green. So want some like higher saturated um, brownish um, red tones. I think I want another middle ground here with trees, but those should be a bit more in, in the background. Yeah. I mean, I like mountains and I like epic mountains, but I don't want to emphasize them too much in this one like have a bit of variation going on here
Okay, let's see if we can maybe improve the, the background a bit. Oh, I need dodge, not color. <laughs> kind of wondered why <laughs> nothing was working. Let's see if we can come up with some interesting variations here. I'll just copy that and maybe look for a correction layer. Where is it? It's here. want this like a hundred percent but a bit of darkening isn't a bad idea I think Let's see. Um, I think we could use some bluish shadow tones here. I think now it comes together a bit more. Still a lot of work to do, but we're doing thumbnails, so that's totally okay. I really don't want to detail out these, these trees here, but maybe indicate it just a bit. I have I have like the simple leaves here I think those are pretty neat mm. I gotta be <laughs> careful not to introduce too much contrast like I'm doing now Uh, 
Yeah, sometimes with those texture brushes it's difficult to dial in the exact value you need, so that wasn't particularly successful. Uh, Tamaho, no problem. Um, <laughs> I wish you good luck. I read you start your stream in about an hour, so um, total understanding that you have to lurk. I'm quite happy that you're here. A bit of um, chill landscape drawing. There's something nice to work, I don't think. Okay, I say let's just um, work a bit in parallel, not just on this one drawing. Violet is a tad strong. We need to turn that down for sure. And also, I want to separate like the big um, mountain. Use some more mid-ground elements. Um, Rockety, uh, nice to have you here too. I hope you're doing great. Like, I really enjoyed the Kellermeisterschaft <laughs> yesterday. That was great entertainment. Today we're having a pretty chill stream here. We're doing a couple of thumbnails. As you can see, I'm just throwing a bit of paint on the canvas and then we do these little composition sketches and when we uh, see one painting that we like uh, then I single that out and detail it even more. The um, idea to do many um, of those um, paintings at once is that we have like a huge variety and even we try to come up with some designs uh, we wouldn't otherwise. So 
sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't, but <laughs> I think that's part of the fun. You can't have success without failure. Let's see if we can maybe color dodge a bit of... Um, of red tones in here and I think I want to introduce even more blue blue tones here and maybe we can burn that here uh, shouldn't do that too much I don't particularly like to paint with um, oh. What did happen then? Okay. With um, tools only, I basically like to draw with paint for the most part. It just like my brain can comprehend this a bit better. There are people who are very good with this, but still, it's a bit of a digital uh, way to approach things. Gogo hydration. That's very good, Morgi. That's. Really good idea. Yeah, you are, you are totally right. I did need something. This is the reason why I incorporated those um, alerts. I have to figure out them a bit more, but um, sometimes I forget to drink and was a bit hard to <laughs> to inform me about that without um, the stream elements stream alerts uh, it's the same with all my paintings I basically draw some mountains and instantly I <laughs> I kind of like them best but that's okay But I think it's also maybe a bit the, the sky colors. I think we can maybe even... separate out the, the tip of the, the mountain even more. Yeah, I think that's pretty neat. Yeah, the soft round brush is really a perfect tool for stuff like that. Mm. Invert. very easy method here you can really see how everything goes into this big epic uh, landscape mode as soon as I um, separate the, the various layers in that way I, I don't mean like um, digital layers I mean um, yeah, the, the tonal values Maybe the blue is a bit light, is it? I 
Oh, the um, pink in the is the exact same color like uh, the clouds you are observing. Well, that's cool. I think here it's actually snowing. Um, everything is white here. <laughs> it's actually pretty crazy because we had like um, spring temperatures and now winter is back in full swing. Arizona. Oh, okay. Then you are blessed with a bit of a more nice weather, I guess. that one already I could uh, go on and on uh, with this uh, painting but um, <laughs> I, I want to do some some more So nice of you. Can I have a little chat going on there? I I, I now know the feeling, um, Keller Abend, <laughs> when uh, you say that you can't follow exactly the chat. I mean, when you're doing something like me painting at the moment, then following your conversations is actually pretty hard. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. If it's just one on topic, it's. It's doable, but still, uh, not that easy. Give you props for that. <laughs> Actually, w w when I swipe over the tablet, um, it's not only like um, used motion from drawing in uh, in analog media. It's also that um, I have the, um, the video light directly above the tablet. So when I do little strokes here, it actually leaves a very thin line and it irritates the crap out of me. That is why I <laughs> do the swiping motion sometimes. So the RPG is not that easy. Yeah, I, I figured. It's it's pretty hard to um, do everything at the same the same exact time. I mean, I I really wanted to join the um, the voice chat, but um, I had a couple of things to do and just wasn't gonna fly this this specific day when we uh, when we played for the second time after the character creation. But I, um, I want to do that um, as soon as it's possible. It's a bit flat. Let's maybe add some tonal variations. I think we can also work a bit with this brush.
At least we need to to smudge this a bit. just wondered why everything felt a bit weird. I was on the wrong tool. But now everything should be working. I do want to separate out the other mountain a bit more. Well, let's just do that. to be yeah not such a <laughs> has to work on a compositional basis and has to work in context yet it doesn't do that yet but I think when we now Separate it out with the soft ground brush. You might be able to get it to work. Mm, still not totally. I think we just need some more separation here too. to go for some misty landscape here and I'm not totally sure I, um, I arrived at that stage yet so maybe let's look out for a foggy brush It's okay, but I feel like for all the cold colors, the sky is too vibrant. So I think we can try to color correct the sky a bit. Maybe, maybe use this one. No, I don't. I don't want it to be like a sunset -y. I don't want it to be green either, so 
we just introduce some more blue tones and then we yeah already it's better oh what happened there this when I merge this down shouldn't this work why why doesn't it okay that's weird Okay, I have no idea why this doesn't merge down. I mean it should. I'm not really sure that <laughs> that worked the way I intended it to. But. Yeah, it's a bit of this mist morning feeling that I tried to cap capture here. Time to enjoy April Fools. Um, <laughs> April Fools is a bit of a weird day always for me because um, it's um, also the day where we have our, how do you say that in English, the Jahrestag. <laughs> um, basically the day where my girlfriend and I where we met, or where we came together. So it always has a bit of a double meaning for me <laughs> this day, but I'm I'm not a big jokester around, so I don't worry too much about that. Okay, let's see. Is the light coming from here? <laughs> I, I kind of wonder because then this should be like lighter as well. We can do that. And I want to add some highlights in the clouds. Obviously try to not overdo it. More jokes for me. <laughs> Go for it. That's totally fine. Actually, I was thinking about um, maybe doing another uh, like retro stream later, um, like way way later after um, may maybe after you streamed Rocco D, or if you do that. Because I um, think in the progress of um, finishing um, San Lago <laughs> and I re really want to, to play it now to the end, so... I already got tricked by another stream I watched today. He was... Uh, he said he was quitting the MMO he plays <laughs> oh, 10,000 hours and somehow I believe him. <laughs> Yeah, you have to be a bit careful with those um, like big statements on this day. I don't like the the like direction. It's a directly horizontal line here from the cloud. I think we can try to... Let's 
get a lasso. Try to um, make that a bit more interesting by rotating it a tad. this green element here. I don't want to get rid of it. Um, Captain Graver, <laughs> nice to have you too. Ah. All the uh, German retro scene is um, doing a little chill moment and watching me paint a bit of environmental thumbs and then we can decide for one which is nice I think already I <laughs> like this one best but let's let's keep pushing and see what we can do I think it don't want this particular color here. It's it's a bit on the on the cold side of things. Rockety is enjoying his his victory. <laughs> I think this isn't Hollywood. <laughs> well, I, I try to be a, a bit um, epic with the landscapes, so yeah, <laughs> a bit of Hollywood flavor going on. don't want to do like yet another mountain landscape so maybe try to make this into into an ocean or something yeah a bit of variety <laughs> I mean I do like to draw mountains the most but um, yeah sometimes you have to have to switch things around a bit <laughs> that looks good enough for skiing or hot dog yeah <laughs> I, I'm very interested if this actually is like um, a proper name for this discipline I don't think so um, the digital Bob Ross, yeah, I, I hope I can bring a bit of wholesomeness and um, chill vibes to, to everybody. I do hope that. So, sometimes I feel I'm a bit... Um, yeah, I, I, I try to be like positive and that works. Sometimes I, I think I'm a bit too overly critical. Um, I try to work in that. Uh, It's actually when you are doing these kind of paintings now I'm like already um, a bit more chill because I got like this one uh, drawn this thumbnail and I'm happy with that so um, I think now oh, okay even if I mess the other ones up it's not that of a big deal but if you are just starting out with the bare canvases and you throw paint on them and you really don't know how everything is gonna turn out 
Um, <laughs> it, it, it's a bit of pressure, and um, then you are also trying to um, engage in semi sensual conversation at the same time. And yeah, not gonna lie, it's a bit of pressure. <laughs> um, but um, as as I just said, um, when you when you start to get something done that that works, that pressure is um, is slowly fading away. And then I can concentrate on being wholesome and being happy. <laughs> yeah, some little friend. Oh, I I really like Bob Ross. Such a such a cool artist. And actually, um, like um, I kind of learned a lot from him. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think what he doesn't teach um, is um, the perspective side of things and I think also um, he hasn't the sharpest eye for composition. <laughs> Sorry Bob Ross, you're, you're very cool and I like you a lot but um, not all of his paintings work on a compositional level, I think. <laughs> um, still um, as far as techniques go, those are like very very uh, useful. I think even for um, seasoned landscape painters, um, you can learn a thing or two by, by watching Bob Ross. I'm totally sure about that. I mean, after a certain time, things tend to repeat a bit. Not here. For the most part. It's very useful and uh, e even if you don't like to learn anything from him I think you can also learn his chill attitude and if, if you don't already are uh, I, I think I'm also a bit more of the chill and laid back like a bit of a, 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 a Buddhism vibe I think <laughs> not that I have anything in, in common with religion but mm, yeah I think we might want to introduce some grey tones here. I mean, w what I wanted to say with that is that I tend not to worry about things that I can't change. And I always try to focus on the things that I can. And I try to focus on the things that um, make me happy and um, that are good. I don't know. This is pr probably why I, why I'm so drawn away from social media in general. Like um, I do have a Facebook account, but I haven't updated it in like I don't know eight years. Um, I didn't delete it because um, I, I really don't really know why I didn't delete it. But um, one of the reason was that I don't want like drama I'm deleting my account and well, I don't know it's just lay dormant there but I don't don't think that works <laughs> I'm gonna revert that back but um, yeah the, the, the feeling there is very strange same with um, Twitter and stuff and um, what is so nice is that um, here on Twitch this is different in a way. It feels like on, on Twitch when I draw here and when I chat with you guys I um, I deal with real persons not with bots not with um, like people trying to influence me or something like that but uh, the real people and to be perfectly honest I enjoy that. It brings back a bit of those nostalgic internet 1.0 feeling for me um, because um, back then we were all kind of the geeky nerdy netizens and there was a certain kind of community um, alive back then I mean okay some things uh, 
are tinted a bit by nostalgia, I'm fully aware of that. But I think something was different. I do think we, we need to get rid a bit of the, the green tones. Didn't think I make that so much better. Yeah, I need to get rid of that. This doesn't doesn't work. I'm not sure if I think that messes up the scale quite a bit. Yeah. I was experimenting a bit with a, a ship or something like that. Um, and I still think we can do it. But if I want to do it, I have to be very careful of, um, of scale. Currently I have no idea what this is going to be. I think I want some three point perspective here. to separate it. I feel like this has a bit of sci-fi vibe for me. Hmm. Perspective is very wonky here. <laughs> Not going to lie. I think I want to do that, do I? Don't want to introduce atmospheric perspective here. I think here I want to, kind of. I 
I mean, it could also be like I'm seeing here, um, like a medieval castle. Could be that too. So, if if chat is alive, you can <laughs> can tell me what you see here. What I should should take this to? Is it like um, sci-fi industrial cityscape type of thing, or is it more? Uh, like a, a burning um, medieval city. Um, a second cam showing your hands would be cool. Yeah, um, this is also what my brother-in-law, which uh, he also does like media stuff, um, and he said he would be very interested to see my hands. So um, yeah, maybe maybe I should do that. Um, a lot of streamers don't, but um, I don't know, maybe it is a, a thing that people are interested. So I am I was already in the process of buying a, a new stream cam. Um, so yeah, totally open, open for this. Um, I guess one thing that I wanted to do, but what wasn't kind of working or at least I'm not aware of that maybe somebody with more technical expertise can can help with that is um, that I um, wanted to have like um, uh, an, a colored indicator of my mouse cursor I mean you can see this little brush icon and if I scale it up you can see it like very good but um, I want to have like a little like blue or yellow circle or something like that that you can see exactly where I'm I'm working with the painting. Um, but e either way, I I mean when I see it myself, then it kind of distracts me and I don't want that. And um, for only you to see it, I have to configure some OBS stuff and. Um, to my knowledge, there isn't a, um, a software that does that for multi-multi-monitor um, setups, and I kind of have to use multi-monitor because um, yeah, it's a tablet. So, but maybe just having a little hand indicator. I don't know how how much you can see on that image though. So. I'm totally up to it, but um, I have to have to look out. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. I think I, I don't know if if you see what I see, yet, but I, I I think that it could be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit more now in medieval ter territory, to be honest. Yeah, Panda Pufkin. Yeah, I'm. I'm feeling the same now. <laughs> First of all, I, I thought more sci-fi, but now I'm a bit more on team team medieval. Mm, no. Oh, obviously, when I want to. Um, to improve on that I have to do proper perspective as of now I just uh, I just want to get um, the composition right then, yeah I want to have a bit no this is too dark <laughs> something in between like those could be like these big Towers. Mm. 
I mean, even with the wonky perspective, you have like this gate as a center point, and I think from a Uh, from a compositional approach, it really does lead to to a nice um, to a nice image. I do want to have a bit of atmospheric perspective here now because this is too much. I do want to maybe have some armies marching here or something like that. And this thing here, I think, is a, like a, um, a siege weapon or something like that. Maybe. <laughs> I think now the um, the perspective and or the lack thereof is bothering me the most. Mm. But I also do want to introduce some sa more saturated blues. I think we kind of have only um, only brown tones here. And I think this works for the most part okay. Hmm. 
maybe we can introduce a bit of the lighter orange tones here maybe even have a bit of color variation going on I kind of like the the purple um, foreground here Oh, Panda Puffkin, that's so cool. I will definitely check that out. Maybe this does work for me, and if it does, I will most likely use it in the, in the next streams. Oh, that's pretty neat. Thank you a lot. don't think I want to detail this uh, I come now too much into detailing territory but I think we can can do something with this so I think let's just continue on and then when I'm done you guys can decide which one I, um, I um, finish or um, improve in the next stream it would be nice. Totally ripped off that um, that approach from Jay Stiller. <laughs> but yeah, I do have him on on subscription now, so oh, no, not subscription. I follow. Sorry, not. Um, so when he does stream, we can maybe rate him. Okay, I have no idea what what to do with this. vegetation here I think I'm lacking a bit in the vegetation department this was the first try and I'm not overly happy with that but I'm not even sure if I want to introduce like um, green colors in here, maybe a tad, but not too much. I do think we need to push that um, a bit more in the background. So I just select this and 
push this mountain a bit more back. Just a little bit. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's just <laughs> let's start with the mountains I can mm. yeah, I really have to be aware that I don't overly use um, straight lines here as to make it a bit more dynamic. Okay, um, let's think about real quick where the light is coming. I think it's again this way. Oh god, <laughs> not the best tool to indicate this. Um, but let's see. I think it's too green. Can have a bit of green spots here, that's okay. I feel like I should lighten up this rather, not too, too much. always a matter of subtleties with these landscape paintings and with painting in general. As soon as you um, go very overboard with your values and your colors, it usually doesn't work. Actually, <laughs> maybe even the same with life in general. Just find your spot and don't do anything too excessive.
kind of want to do something else with this guy here. about it. But I do like the mood. I mean not all colors are working perfectly and we have some issues going on here in the in the midground. saturated is it bit of clearer separation here. Yeah, sometimes this is the process you, you try something and it doesn't quite work and then you repaint it and repaint it and usually if you arrive at the um, at the 6th repaint you have something that is okay. Uh, at least this is my process. Um, therefore um, I couldn't work in specific medias like um, where you need to have everything planned out from um, from light to, to dark like watercolor. I really suck at watercolors <laughs> because my brain functions in a very weird way that just um, is uh, prone to from from dark and then I gradually build up lights it's not working every time though <laughs> to emphasize the plane change here with atmospheric perspective but then again um, we do have shadows in here so I can't overdo that I think it would be better rather to have a bit of a lighter texture here maybe With those texture brushes you sometimes get those <laughs> very weird um, like painting strokes but sometimes they fit just fine
this needs to be toned down like a lot, I feel. So let's grab this soft round brush and put everything even more in the back. Maybe. I don't think I want to tint it that much. Try to add a bit of light in the background. Yeah, I think that that does the job. It's also a very neat trick. I think you've seen this one a lot on like other concept artists is to mask a certain area of the painting and then just go over it with the soft round brush or with any texture brush for, for that matter you can do that too so I, I mean if i let me show you something let's first save this and i try to get better at um painting okay It takes so long to, to write because um, I switched on the time-lapse feature. But I tried to be better with drawing trees. Now I don't have them here. Okay, that sucks a bit. Where do I have them? I think here. 302. So if I have enough time, I can make those trees like look semi good and go with interesting textures and stuff. But I think if I just, um, oh, wait, those are the other thumbs that we created. But if I just have to go with like this quick painting, I still have a bit of trouble to make them, um, make them work. I have to, to figure out another technique. I think that adds a little bit of of interest there. I feel like this brush is always changing the um, <laughs> the color values too much. That's okay though.
should have done this with the with this chalk brush that I created. I think that's perfect for this little um, precise um, horizontal cuts because I can also control opacity with that. Yeah, I was a bit concentrated here <laughs> for a moment. That's why I wasn't wasn't talking as much. I think I'm working a bit too too long on this. I really want to make it work, but um, I don't know. Still, I, I feel like if if I gave this a couple of um, couple of hours, I can arrive with something semi decent. But I have to concentrate on, on other thumbnails as well. Uh, go go hydration, Panda Puffkin, thanks so much. Yeah. I kind of tend to forget that. Okay, I mean, we have done. I think I will do. For, I, I don't know if we have time for, for three more. <laughs> Maybe. I kind of also want to, to decide now on, on one that we finally do. But still, I, I shouldn't be rushing through this um, progress. Process, I mean, progress. Sorry. I, I like the dynamic of this. <laughs> oh man. Feel like uh, uh, some train train image here. Yeah. My favorites are the castle and the pink sky so far. Like um, this one and this. Yeah, I think you're you're right. I think you're right.
Actually, I don't think that is how it should look like in perspective. Yeah, I think for the thumbnail I will kind of keep this loose. With all the brown tones, I think my idea is to make this... <laughs> to make this like a, a wooden high-speed train, like some, some form of... Um, Fantasy steampunkish high speed train. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just may maybe I'm I'm totally off track here, but I think that would be. A nice idea. At least I, I, I like the dynamic, like uh, the perspective is, uh, not a perspective, the composition is pretty neat. Those are all great. I also enjoy the orange and green colors in the top middle, like this one here. Yeah, it's not bad. It kind of needs work. I feel the colors are bit flat in some point. I mean they should be because um, I can always build up contrast but I think most mostly the the green is bothering me a bit it's I think a tad dark but yeah nothing that one can't fix I think what I also want to do with this one is to really accentuate. Maybe we can do that on another layer. Accentuate a bit um, the, the steam and um, like I don't know the movement of this train thingy. Oh, let's look. Maybe something like that. I did this on another layer because we have to be a bit careful not to lose the silhouette too much. Hmm. 
need to erase out some of the lines here. Yeah, I think that could be pretty cool. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay, let's see if we can... How do I do that? No, I can't use it like that. That was the... The other program affinity. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I just want a quick um, lasso tool here because I kind of want to. Maybe I do want to lighten it. You usually when I try to do something, I think I want to lighten it. Oh, I did paint that all on this layer, okay. Hmm. I really, really like the, the composition of this. I'm not too sure about all the the mist it it looks cool but then it also really clouds the, the shape here I do want some indications of wheels and stuff maybe I can have that all in the in the other half of the train Okay, let's, um, <laughs> I, I think the main composition is there, I don't think I need to really overdo it with the, with the details here. I could do that if I try to, to work on it once more. Okay, what do we do here? Actually, I kind of have no idea for these ones, this is why I... 
uh, left them alone. Um, slash life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the Prinzen. Exactly, one cover I did. Did, did you enjoy it, Slash Lab? <laughs> yeah, I really want... It w would be nice to be a millionaire. I don't want to be one, but um, yeah. <laughs> would make a bit of things easier. Actually, I have no idea what to do with these ones. This is, um, yeah, sometimes when you do these thumbnails, you, you start with one where you have an idea like this one, I knew exactly it would turn out great, this one is cool too. And I really like 7 too. I think those... Um, th this is okay-ish. Um, the vegetation looks weird, but this is not good. And I'm not the biggest fan of this either, but with these ones, the, um, the random lines didn't really give me a lot to work with. Um, for a moment, I wondered whether we are listening to MIDI music. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, this was um, actually SID music. I programmed this for the C64 sound chip. I mean, I sequenced it in Cubase, so um, you know me, I'm not the biggest um, um, like gatekeeper when using um, only original hardware. But I did work within pretty much the limitations. With this particular one, I think I didn't for one part where there are these harmonies going on in the voices and um, there are more than three voices there. So yeah, you could play it on two seal chips. So. With the li hardware limitations, I I feel like um, it's the same as with um, tonality and harmonic analysis and stuff. I adhere to it for like 90% of the time, but um, sometimes I feel like it's better to, to break the rules and have a, a nice product in the end than to super strictly adhere to the rules. I try to be pretty strict, but yeah, at the end. I do want everything to sound nice. And now we have music not done by me, but it's okay. This is Night Sky Alien Planet? I, I don't know. Um, maybe not even Alien Planet, but Night Sky. Dead trees. Could have like. I mean, here's the horizon line, so... in the center though. I did want to have like a secondary light source here and stuff. Maybe we can... I need to be aware of the of the perspective. I was going for three points, so I have to be a bit careful with this.
Um, gaming hamster, nice to have you here in the stream. Um, totally fine to just lurk for a second. We are doing um, these little environmental paintings and at the end of the stream we will choose one which I um, detail in the next stream. So um, even though if you're lurking, um, maybe if I um, approach the end of the stream you might want to give a little vote but you don't have to if you don't want to it's totally fine but um, yeah if you like to see one specific of these to be worked in a full image you have the possibility and everybody else in the chat too <laughs> Okay, I just found out uh, that he also streams, so I had a lark. Uh, yeah, um, usually um, on Friday and on Sunday, I do these little, um, this little <laughs> um, the ma my main business here on Twitch is business. I don't know, that sounded weird. Um, is uh, doing those um, art streams, and like you can see here, we have some some other um, thumbnails and stuff that we did. I did those off stream, um, but usually I try to um, detail everything a bit more than, and then we have finished paintings. Like, let, let me just click uh, one. I think this one we didn't finish. Oh, this, this is okay to, to show. Like we arrive at a quality like that and then usually I <laughs> I lose track and I don't want to continue them. I think the the Christmassy Cyberpunk one was also pretty nice. Um, that we um, used um, Gaming Camp, so thank you for the follow. So nice, yeah. Glad you, you enjoyed the content. Um, but uh, for you, maybe relevant is that I also stream a bit of um, retro stuff, and this is done in German. Um, and I do that currently just like off hours um, when I don't stream art. But um, I think I want to have um, a certain time dedicated to that. I'm not quite sure though when when this will when this will be. <laughs> but um, actually, I, I think maybe today I will um, even stream a bit in the night or something like that. Um, like I don't know, twelve or one a.m. Um, then I will stream um, Die Obere, a German. Uh, strategy game uh, in rounds from 1993 uh, so pretty old and it's very rare it's not even on mobile games <laughs> so I don't know if, if you're into that I just wanted to just quickly mention it but um, oh, we're just doing the art streams and sometimes I also stream like composition stuff I haven't recently done it but I want to do it a bit more and then we do like orchestral compositions and um, last time I composed for like um, Asian orchestra and this was also good fun I think we even have some why is the one that I did. Yeah. 
Okay, if the sound is really too loud, really Asian orchestra, you can hear it now, I hope. If it's really too loud, or if it's too uh, not loud enough, <laughs> um, too quiet, um, give me a quick shout out and I will try to adjust it. So this is a mix between regular orchestra and Asian. I try to be quiet. Um, you, you mean the, the track playing in the background? I composed that from scratch. So, um, no pre-made samples used. I mean, obviously I used samples for like, oh, there's a flute playing A and then it's playing a C and so on. But no like loops like you use in hip hop. Yeah, so pretty much all the music except like now um, um, when you ca just came in the my music kind of ran out and it defaulted to some other public domain music but um, besides that pretty much everything is my own music which um, eliminates the need for me to uh, worry about copyright and stuff like that because it's just my stuff and what is also nice is that um, every twitch streamer can use my music for free I have a homepage with like 350 tracks and they're completely free to use I don't think a lot of people worry, but <laughs> at least it's there. Um, what's the story? It started so nice and kind of ends up right uh, in the battlefield. Yeah. Oh, maybe you have to tell Tama. Yeah, you could certainly. Um, I mean, it, Tama was here on stream as well, so I think he is kind of aware of this, but um, yeah would be absolutely no problem for me if you wanted to use uh, some of the tracks that would be pretty cool indeed 
Um, so um, you ask, uh, what's the story behind the track? Yeah, I, I imagined it to be like um, a, a first coming in, into culture and exchanges, and then there's misunderstanding, and then um, things usually uh, in those times tended to end up pretty bad. So it's a bit of a sad story, but it's a pretty human story. I try to um, compose with um, film music and with scenes in mind, but oftentimes I am having a bit of trouble like to verbalize them and uh, maybe that's, that's part of the, the problem that I don't... Um, That I'm not not so well known with this stuff because I, I think I kind of needed to describe everything a bit more, but then I'm too lazy. I just like composing and drawing. I'm not the biggest fan of like writing summaries and writing what is going on and what I thought about that. I mean, I I kind of like to talk about it. It's not a problem, but um, if you have like 300 tracks and you try to do that for every one and I, Believe me, I started. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit weird. Okay, now this is turning full on gothic horror now. <laughs> it's, it's pretty nice. Why, why not? Um, side row, oh, okay, this is a bot, okay. So, and now I have one, one more thumb left. <laughs> what do we do with this? I literally have no idea what this, this should be. Also, like so saturated. Let's get rid of that first, maybe. But it needed to be. Flipped with the colors. Way too much brown in it. I already did use it quite a lot. I do think we want to have like a C or something like that here. <laughs> Okay, not really fitting, but uh, I like this flick too. Like composing um, light music is so much fun. time a little bit because uh, I kind of wait for a call or a message. <laughs> this reminds me of Toonstruck, yeah. <laughs> Slash life, luckily I'm completely uncreative so uh, it's just an erupting volcano. Yeah, maybe it can be a volcano. We did have another painting which I also want to get into uh, in the next time like this was a volcano and a sci-fi cityscape and I do want to, to finish that we did that I think uh, the time before not last time but the time before in stream and yeah I think that you could definitely get a good epic piece out of it 
obviously the thumbnails don't look as epic, but um, believe me, when I uh, <laughs> when I'm finished with those, they will. <laughs> But even though this already like, looks pretty epic and this too, it's it's a bit um, like the edge control isn't perfect. currently unavailable due to a violation of Twitch community guidelines in terms of service. Twitch wins. You're talking about my channel? Is my channel unavailable? Don't give me the creeps. I mean, here it says it's still working. So n not maybe I misunderstood what you what you meant. Ah, the spammer guy. Okay. He's <laughs> <laughs> giving me a heart attack here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good that the spammer was removed from Twitch. But would actually be very very sad if Twitch decided to remove my channel. Would be heartbreaking. I just want to introduce some color variation here, some uh, nice um, cool blue tones as the contrast with the overall sunset, and the warm tones. You always want to have, you always want to have balance in life and in art too. Like, one can't live without the other. It's already um, past eight. Sometimes I stream a little bit longer, as I do want kind of to um, finish um, all of the thumbnails, and then we can decide on one uh, which I detail in the next stream. So yeah, that tends to happen. So um, if you have to go gaming hamster, that's um, totally fine. Maybe we, I, I, if if you want to go, just let me know. Then I wrap this up, and we can have the little voting. Um, I think Tama is online, right? So yeah, I, I want to to look um, at Tama's stream too. So I think let's um, wrap this up, and I will stream maybe later in the night if somebody is still awake, um, and then I will probably. Um, Stream Retro, like I said, Dia Obera is on the menu, maybe something else, uh, kind of depends on my mood and what other people seem to enjoy, seem to want, so yeah, okay.
Okay, it's voting time. So, um, do we want to incorporate all of the, even the old, older ones for voting? No, we, we just want to do it for, for the for this stream. Please don't crash on me. Always when it does that, I, I get a little bit of a heart attack. Okay, it, it works. Okay, um, so let's vote. Um, which piece should I continue uh, in the next stream? Is it the Gothic House? Is it the sunset with um, uh, um, yeah, um, with the sea? <laughs> Is it the um, misty mountain landscape? Is it the um, lake in the mountains during sunset? I think this we can. <laughs> <laughs> Rule out is the first one I started. It's um, yeah, not the best. Um, then we have the epic mountain uh, with um, purple tones. We have the um, a steampunk train, which has again it has a nice composition. I must say that. Um, or do we want the um, um, uh, siege scene, medieval stuff? Or this um, a bit Asian-influenced uh, mountainscape. Hannah Pavkin, also hard, but I love the train. Yeah, I'm, I kind of want to do the train. <laughs> I think I like number three most. Okay, one vote for number three. Oh, let's get rid of this. I think most people are already done, but we have one vote for um, three and one for seven. Maybe I just do both. <laughs> Maybe we can have like Feng Zhu does, um, like um, then we, we might even need a, a third one. So let, let's pick a third one and then we do um, three, seven and I don't know. Maybe six or eight. I would uh, that this would be my pick. Maybe. And I, I mean, obviously, my first pick would be a seven, but um, yeah. What? One more. We need one more, <laughs> and then we might also. Um, Marky, you, you say it's six. Okay, this is perfect. So it's three, six, and seven then. I I would like to see nine too. Okay, so um. We could do that as well, but um, that might, might be a bit too too much, <laughs> since a three, um, seven, and nine are all different. Yeah, yeah. I think I could really make this work here with the vegetation. I feel like I mean, if you look at it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't look that um, amazing, but I think I could make it work. But yeah. Let's keep that in the in the backhand, and uh, I think just go with three, six, and seven for the next stream, and then we have them all in a in a big uh, file, and we work on them together, and then we decide on one which I detail even more. <laughs> so let's save this again. Hope that affinity doesn't crash, and then we can look for somebody to raid. Um, I'm also on on Sunday again from um, 18 to um, 20 uh, and if you want to join me would be great <laughs> would be very happy um, yeah. so no art streamer is currently online but um, Tama is online also Peter Noster but um, since I also want to um, continue watching um, on Tama. Um, sorry Morkyu and Panda Pavkin, um, he does ritual stuff and talks only German so might be not the most interesting thing for you guys. I always try to be a bit careful to choose the right uh, rates for the content I do but um, I think we just rate Tama so at least give him a, a, a quick sign of, of love. Also I did one uh, 
no, we, we can't use that. I did one emoji for the channel, but I'm not yet qualified to give that away for free. Other way I would. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just just for you to know, as soon as this um, as this works, I will give it away for free, and you can use some of my emojis. And I also have um, I've planned, I've sketched some uh, emojis from myself, like a caricature and then we can use them as well okay so um no problem let's rate tama thank you all for staying with me and i see you all next time let's uh, just figure out how i do this favorite rate here it is okay okay have a great day, everybody. <laughs> Have a great weekend. See you.